Good morning. It is 8.15 in the morning. We are going to go chow down today. Uh, get a good, nice, <clears throat> healthy breakfast this morning. This weekend I just ate like crap. Um, did not lift, but... Had a pretty fun weekend. I ate like donkey, but that's okay. Uh, well, this morning we're gonna go get some treadmilling in and cardio and core. And yeah, we might lift a little bit. We'll see. But see how we feel at the end of our cardio. But hopefully that's our main focus is in the morning or cardio and core. So we're gonna try to get that done. But I'll see you guys in the way. I'm back on for 10 minutes. Let's go. I'm dying right here. We got more to go though. That's for sure. So it was pretty good uh, workout today, I say for both morning and afternoon sessions. Um, I'm gonna try to keep my mornings pretty much at um, a just like cardio and core, and then just kind of like working in like some smaller things. Like um, I didn't record anything this morning just because like I mainly just kind of forgot to, just cause like I try to like get focused in on, um, you know, what I'm doing. Uh, also, I just don't like really have the energy to like focus in the morning. So I just kind of like, I can only focus on one thing at a time. So I'm always, uh, I try to get, um, just like my workouts in and that's it. Um, oh yeah, so this morning I went down to Stairmaster for about 10 minutes, which was honestly a really good warm up for me. Stretched out, did some core. Um, I don't know why, but I felt really weak when I started this morning. Uh, I'm, I actually have no idea why I felt so um, obliterated for some reason. But we got it out, got core done, and it was kind of a fight. Um, going into like the afternoon lift, uh, I wasn't really planning on maxing out, but it was kind of like a last minute decision just to kind of see where I was at. And I was kind of, um, I'm kind of disappointed in myself because where I, maxed out today on bench is like where I maxed out like on peak bulk so I've maxed out last semester um at 335 like um like I did it at a lifting competition and I maxed out at 335 
so over the summertime, I've literally made no progress at all. Out of the, all the times I went into lift and I benched and I did this and I did that, uh, no progress at all. Uh, that's on me. That is thoroughly on me. Um, my legs, I'm still trying to like kind of figure out what's going on with my legs because every single time I try to squat heavy or do a really intense workout with my legs, um, I always end up hurting myself like I'm in the process of doing that, which I'm like, I don't know how I do that so much. Like I literally, I've been on a, on a track of doing consistent leg days for quite a while now. Um, of course, when I was young, I really didn't like pay attention to legs too much. Like I knew I had to do them, but like I really didn't like pay attention to them too much. But I just end up always end up hurting my legs somehow. And I don't know how or why I'm doing that. Um, but, it, it, you know, it just happens. And I'm just kind of like gradually progressing uh, my leg workouts, my leg strength, my leg, everything um, to try to get that to a higher level. But uh, chest was a really good uh so today you can still kind of like see the pot kind of the pump coming through it uh i was looking at a couple of pictures uh of me when i was like we were out at the lake i was taking, looking at a couple of pictures and i was like uh one area i really need to work on is not really like my under like my under chest i really need to work on but also like my top deck because a lot of the muscles just kind of going through the middle right now and i need to try to work on my top deck a little bit more and you can kind of see here this is a lot from just like benching and stuff but i also need to like try to get that undercut right here to where it's kind of like forming into that chest muscle and also like trying to do my striations but uh, i don't super successful chest day i definitely went till failure on pretty much everything um on bench i maxed out so that was pretty good and then i did a drop set got some more reps in there which was pretty good um let's see what else on uh, incline i absolutely went till failure i dropped it i think twice um but i set the bars up higher so it doesn't like absolutely just like have to like try to throw it off of me uh, i learned that from sam Solak. he's like you, know, you just set the bars up higher it'll catch you you don't have to throw it off you. I'm like, it's like thinking a thinking guy basically um but really good chest day today uh i'm gonna try to get a pretty nasty back day going as well um but yeah i'm kind of just like disappointed in myself uh and not mad but just more like disappointed that it's been three years since i've been lifting like consistently going into the gym every day and stuff and i can see some progress uh but very very little um basically that's just telling me i'm not doing a good enough job in the gym i'm like not going hard enough i'm not um i don't really know what's going on but i think a rather i'm not trying hard enough in the gym or my eating patterns need to kind of increase um last year when i went on a bulk i can definitely see like a huge increase in my lifting um so I'm definitely going to try to do a really heavy bulk. I'm also not on creatine right now. I've kind of dropped that off and you can kind of see it as like, I'm, I like kind of look like a little more toned up um, in a lot of the pictures I've been seeing. So I think once the first of all, when I start doing like some really hardcore heavy bulking, I will probably start doing that again. Um, and I've kind of like already started into my bulk. Um, I want to try to get, uh, I'm going to try at least to get 6,000 to 8,000 calories in a day, which I know that's going to really fuck with me because I've been trying to, um, keep, um, I've been trying to like slim down a whole bunch. Cause like one of my, my, my huge problem right here is in my belly. <laughs> I've been really trying hard to, uh, get rid of. But basically, we're going to try to turn into this guy right here. Like, this is Mighty Mouse. Um, this is me. Okay. Uh, this is one of my fans, and this is my uh, my favoriteest admirer right here, uh, Mrs. Mighty Mouse. So, really, really cool. But I'm basically going to try to be this guy. So, yeah, just... I think I just need to start taking this a lot more serious than just going in and doing a lift every single day. Uh, this week had, or last week was a super ramped up high intensity uh, workout, which I really liked. 
but I just didn't, I also didn't like that I was coming off of the workouts like so dog dead tired that I just did like in, like in a mood and grumpy. Um, I, I, I don't know why, but uh, today I kind of just feel pretty good, uh, especially coming off of a pretty hard chest day. Um, I definitely say the energy is there a little bit more. Um, maybe my pre-workout is hitting me right now instead of when I was lifting, which I thought, which might be just be like, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just consistently on a schedule of trying to wake up in the morning, go do cardio and core, and then, uh, go to lunch class, lift again, do my afternoon lift at like basically 3 30 and then like after 3 30 i get to shower go eat dinner and then the, the rest of the day is pretty much fine um i don't lift at night because i lift uh at our local gym here at the college so it's the the weight room hours are kind of meh but you know i just try to get in there and i you know basically work with it so it's all i can do um but yeah, we're just going to try to ramp up the intensity this year. Uh, every day, we're going to try to go in and uh, really just treat it like it's going to be like our last day in the gym. Uh, and honestly, like the motto is basically if like you want to get big, you got to lift big weights. You know, you got to like really ramp up the intensity and whatnot. So I, I guess we're going to do that. <laughs> so to see progress, we have to train for it and basically... Uh, you go with the motto, uh, what you give is what you get, uh, by rat. And so it's honestly, you just take that motto and you run with it, you know, um, you, however, how much effort you put into the gym is basically how much you're going to see. And basically I'm going to see it. Like if I put an entire hard month in, I will see it next month. And if I put that month in, it's going to double up and go into next month, you know? So we're just going to try to take it one week at a time, one day at a time, one lifting session at a time, one set, one rep, you know, we're just going to break it down. Um, basically build strength, build endurance, build everything, but you know, we're going to try to do that.